we start with 6.3 faculty em empowerment strategies in criterion 6 when we talk of faculty empowerment strategies it primarily focuses on the faculty of the organization here how does organization take care of the faculty to see to it that it improves in a better way this criteria in this criteria 6.3 plays a very big weightage primarily because it carries 30 marks and there are five metrics that count this 6.3.1 which talks about welfare measures for the teaching and the non-teaching staff 6.3.2 which talks about average percentage of teachers provided with financial support to attend conferences workshops towards membership fee and professional bodies of professional bodies during the last five years 6.3.3 which talks about average number of professional development and administrative training programs organized by the institution for teaching and non-teaching staff 6.3.4 goes one step ahead and means average percentage of teachers undergoing online oblique face-to-face -face faculty development programs such as orientation program, refresher, short-term course, faculty development programs etc. in the last five years and 6.5 talks about performance appraisal system these are the five questions carrying 30 marks in all let us start with let us go one by one the first one happens to be the institution has effective welfare measures for the teaching and non-teaching staff now here it is expected that a list of the welfare measures is going to be given it can be a long list it is to be given in 500 words some of the welfare measures can be you can even classify them i have just made a list of it provident fund savings deposit scheme mediclaim loan assistance canteens cooperative savings mutual benefit plans pension scheme provident fund house ownership programs group insurance yearly outing it could also be spittoons kept at the workplaces washing places counseling maternity leaves flexi working time some of these are slowly percolating into our sectors also it can also include advances to be given loans to be given housing facilities made available educational loans women friendly workplaces fixed work hours adequate or sufficient wages for those who are appointed on temporary basis preventing any kind of accidents taking proper safety measures especially where laboratories are present avoiding overcrowding of work spaces in situations like corona fire protection proper lighting and ventilation appointment uh, sorry my mistake employee complaints should be considered education for employees children transport sports and games for a fun and healthy atmosphere the list is endless this particular criterion relates to faculty empowerment strategies 6.3.2 is about the average percentage of teachers provided with financial support to attend conferences workshop and towards membership fee of professional bodies during the last five years it promotes research it promotes tie-ups of the individuals with the professional bodies research means the future of the organization research means the future of the individual research promotes a variety of other aspects such as innovations incubations startups and therefore research plays a very important role to us this very small way this is a very small way by which you are able to see an organization is still promoting the individuals 
by paying the fees for attending the conferences by paying the fees for attending the workshops for writing down research papers for taking a membership fee of the professional bodies and here the number of uh, teachers who have got the benefit what benefit they have got when that benefit was given what is the amount that has been given and how many teachers have got benefited is what is going to be seen all these details need to be provided in those dvv sheets that is what is expected over here all these details are verified by the peer team visit we go to the next criteria that is uh, 6.3.3 in in the sixth criteria the next metric happens to be average number of professional development and administrative training programs organized by the institution for teaching and non teaching staff during the last 5 years here what is the effort of the organization of the management to see to it that the staff is continuously being updated these updations can be very small but very important updations i wish to share a small update over here we had a meeting with our staff members of the administrative section pune university still has a lot of communication that goes on in marathi a good number of softwares that time were available for typing but these softwares did not match up with each other for example the software that the university had did not match up with the software that the organization had so when something used to be sent over there it could not be read so for this it was decided that we will be purchasing out those softwares which university has after those softwares were purchased there was a problem that the non teaching staff i mean to say the administrative staff could not cope up with the new software so training was needed over there now that training was asked by the non teaching faculty in general which included the administrative staff which included the laboratory assistants and which also included some other non teaching faculty who uses computers now this is a demand that comes from the organization that particular training was hardly of a time duration of 2 hours or so but that was provided which helped in improvising the efficiency of the organization many such small programs can be counted out over here it can include small trainings it can include the guest lectures it can include lectures by the experts it can include some general programs to boost up the morale of the organization it can also include some kind of technology related sessions it can include a faculty development program which may be going on for 8 days or 10 days for example our organization had conducted one faculty de- had, had conducted one faculty development program last year which was in, which was with the permission of hrdc which had a certification of hrdc pune now here you are able to see that by having a certification from hrdc pune the program became a valid program it went on for 60 hours and it its certificate also helps the individual teacher to go for its for his updation so such kind of programs should be conducted by the organization to see to it that the teacher is constantly updated the objective of this particular metric happens to be that there is a continuous small updation of every faculty member it would mean that every month some or the other program is being conducted every two weeks a small program is being conducted and the faculties are being updated this is about 6.3.3 we go to the next metric and that happens to be 6.3.4 which talks about average percentage of teachers undergoing online or face to face faculty development programs that is orientation program 
refresher program, short term course, faculty development programs during the last five years. See these two questions. In the first case, what is the organization doing for its faculty? In the second case, what is the faculty doing for itself? In either of the cases you are able to see, there is an updation that is expected from the teachers. And this updation is going to help the organization and the individual. So here it is the initiative of the teacher or the non-teaching faculty or the administrative faculty to see to it that they have updated themselves. So it could be through orientation programs, refresher programs, short term courses, faculty development programs which are conducted by the HRDC which can be online, which can be offline, which can be conducted by um, a variety of programs that government conducts to see to it that the organization works in a good way. The teacher is updated either through the organization or by itself. We come to the last aspect of 6.3 which happens to be 6.3.5. It is about the performance appraisal system for teaching and non-teaching faculty. A organization must develop its own performance appraisal system. The performance appraisal of the individual needs to be on a regular basis. The performance appraisal should be conducted by the organization. The format of the performance appraisal system should be conveyed to the teachers. The, per the details of it should be first asked from the teachers. The authorities such as IQAC and the principal should sit together and discuss out on the performance of an individual. The formats need to be filled up, they need to be analyzed and finally after the performance analysis of an individual has been done, it needs to be shown back to him and then and then it, a signature must be taken from him giving him an idea of he of how the, the individual has performed in the said current academic year. It will be conducted once a year normally at the end of the year at the end of the academic year when the entire academics has been completed. So this is 6.3.5 so to summarize out, this criterion talks about, in 6.3.1, it talks about welfare measures by the organization for its staff. The second aspect happens to be the financial assistance given to the faculty members. The third aspect happens to be the professional development programs conducted by the organization. The fourth aspect happens to be those, the pro programs that have been attended by the teachers to see to it that they get updated. And the fifth aspect happens to be the performance appraisal system that an organization has created so that the entire staff is being analyzed, assessed and is being conveyed about its performance. These are the faculty empowerment strategies that NAC, NAC has recommended and expects in this particular manner.